This is a juvenile female oriole that hit our window, and this happens pretty frequently. And we put these little stickers on the window, so they trying to wake him up here. He's a little out of it, but when he was first on the ground, his head was bent way back and his wings were spread, and he slowly brought his head forward and his eyes are kind of closed but you can see he's noticing that I'm tapping on the glass. I'm gonna go move him so that a the last time a squirrel came along and ate one of them, took it away and ate it, so I'm gonna put him up up on the jacuzzi so he's out of predator's way. He's not really alert enough to mind me picking him up. Little tiny guy. Moving more to the center of the jacuzzi. His head seems to be turning okay. from the camera phone to the video camera and I have it inside the glass so I just tapped on the glass it's kind of zoomed in on him and or her and she's sitting there breathing it looks like her foot is kind of backwards underneath her there but she seems to be doing it. I don't want to move her around too much I just let her recover she seems to be doing okay So quite a bit of time, maybe 10 minutes has gone by and she looks a lot more alert. Her eyes are open, she's turning her head around. Still hasn't gotten off her leg. Seems like her leg's turned backwards. I'm just gonna let her handle that herself. here she just decides to just has a spasm and just does a backflip and I think her leg was backwards under her and she went to fix it so she sort of flipped her wings and it made her flip backwards so I think her foot's back in a good position and she's a lot more alert and I think that little flip helped her out there.
she's looking a lot more alert and turning her head around a lot and she's seems to be responding to my sounds in here the keyboard while I'm working on the computer right about here she's gonna take a little poop there she goes so that's a good sign that's gotta be jettisoning some ballast for a little pre-flight Here you can see it's really coming down and there's actually some hail, so I'm really glad she's in under cover here and not out in the weather. So now we're definitely feeling better, sucking in the feathers a little bit, which is like bringing in the flaps, I think, and we're going to take off another successful Oriole rescue.